What is the purpose of being out here? Um, tonight, the Board of Regents for Alvin Community College is um, considering making their final decision in closing the program for good. What program is that? The court reporting program. Why has it come to this decision? Um, they're just looking at numbers and graduation rates and money. Um, this is a self-paced program. And they're trying to compare us to nursing and all the other academic programs, which really doesn't make sense because it's skill-based. So it takes a little bit longer than two years to, to finish. How many uh, students are there in this program right now at ACC? Um, Do you have an idea? Or just an estimate? I'd say about 50. 50? And they're all here in, in uh, Alvin? Yes. And if uh, you don't have the program, what's going to happen? It's going to create a really big domino effect. Um, number one, we only have one other school in Texas, and that's a private school, which would cost about $60,000 a year, which a lot of people cannot afford. There's already such a shortage of court reporters. In the coming year, there's going to be 5,000 openings for court reporters, and they're already feeling that shortage. So closing down the program would just mean even more. Um, there's a lot of reporters that want to retire, but with nobody filling the spot, it's, that's not going to be possible. And I'm from El Paso. El Paso? Yes, I'm okay. here from El Paso. Where do you hail from? Alvin? Alvin? Uh, Liberty. What? From the way Dallas. Dallas? Anawak. Anawak. Houston. Houston. Galveston. Texas. Texas City? North Houston. North Houston, okay. Carolyn Coronado, official court reporter in the 151st Civil District Court in Houston. And I am Leticia Salas, official court reporter in the 308 Family District Court. And why are you here? We're here to support the students and to support our profession. Uh, we're hoping that the Board of Regents at Alvin will continue the program. This is such an important program for many reasons, not just for court reporters, but for the whole human race as far as the hard of hearing and deaf community the judicial profession as well. Um, it takes the human element to be able to provide a accurate verbatim record that's needed in the courts. If this, if this program were to close? I think that it would be pretty devastating as we only have two schools here in the, uh, here in the whole city. There's only six schools in the whole state of Texas and, uh, and, and actually within like maybe a, at least 200 mile radius, there's only two here.